hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're in the best of health i hope you're drinking water and minding your business if you're new to this channel my name is annie paul and it's so very nice to meet you okay i make content on student advice medicine lifestyle and natural hair if you're returning you guys are the ogs of this channel and i just want to say thank you for stopping by all right so in today's video we're going to be talking about some of the resources i used to prepare for the mdcn exams and these are the medical and dental council of nigeria licensing exams if these are things that you're you know interested in knowing more about seeing more about please stay tuned Okay, so the first thing that I would suggest, the first resource that I highly would recommend is you joining a tutorial, joining a tutorial. It is necessary, it is imperative that you join a tutorial and use like the course materials provided for you, practice their questions on their websites, you know. These things will help you with confidence, help you with strategy, help you with how you answer the questions, help you with how you apply the knowledge that you already gained from some of the other resources that we're going to be talking about okay when i was studying for the first exam like the first time i took the exams i joined one tutorial and the next time i took the exams i joined three tutorials so i'm just saying this so in case you maybe join a tutorial and it's not giving you what you want or it's not putting you on your toes as much feel free join another one all right the next question here is can you use ambos to study for the mdcn exams definitely you can use ambos to study for the mdcn exams and how can you use the ambos to study for the mdcn exams apparently when you register on ambos and you create an account it asks you for what type of exams that you're sitting for step ones the plabs um they are uk canadian exams on there there's even crocs your crocs three croc two those exams are on there as well um but in this case i just put in that i was studying for the step ones and like general um school leaving exams and things like that and what this did for me was it gave me everything on like the simplest forms like it explained everything in terms of using medical like language and lingo and things like that and another thing that really helped me um, another resource from Ambos that really helped me was, you know, going, apparently the Ambos has a channel where they post like questions from time to time. Now, if peradventure you've joined Ambos, I did speak about like using free Ambos. I'm going to leave that video up on the screen here, but peradventure you joined Ambos already and maybe you don't know how to like tailor the questions to the particular topic that you just finished studying on because Ambos has like this Q bank and things like that. So let's say you don't know how to tailor your questions or you don't know how to look up questions relating to the topic you just read. Maybe you're new to Ambos, you need to find your way around at first. You can join the Ambos group. There's a group on Telegram where they post questions and guys, it's actually wild. They post a lot of MCQ questions and after you attempt the questions, if you pass them or fail them, their explanations attached to the questions, okay? so using that helped me to reinforce what i already read up on the ambos website or ambos app i advise you use the app i advise from experience that you use the app so um i did use that and i did find out that after joining the channel scrolling up there were a lot of questions that were relating to topics i'd already read topics i had like surface knowledge about and this just helped me with um, covering a lot more ground in preparation for the MDCN exams. Okay. okay, so the next resource that I used to study for the MDCN exams are the guides. And I have showed these guys a lot of times. I'm going to um, also put a video where I like sh walk you through the guides, the books that I have. So the guides, the rule of thumbs, you need these books. Okay, you actually need these books. They are, think of them as like the Nigerian way, like the Nigerian standard of what you're supposed to know in a compact form. Like it doesn't get any smaller than that. Like. Honestly, guys, the guides are your lifesavers. They will help you with MCQ questions. They will help you with how you attempt OSCE questions, how you interpret questions. Like the guides would actually help you with a lot of stuff, okay? So you want to 
have the guides before you even start like studying for the exams so you can have enough time to go through them at your leisure you can read up on them as your tutorial is teaching about them different things just so you can like also compare what ambos is showing you with what the guide is showing you it's it's actually insane to see the similarities and to see the differences <laughs> the next um resource that i would add here are the med scholar books and i'm talking med scholar books because guys those books are think of them as the guides okay but they they are just the tutorial made the books and somehow like other students shared them and what 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 so i mean if you've joined med scholar you most likely will have access to these books but guys those med scholar books like about a month to my exams that's all i was reading and like i got that advice from other people so i was like you know what i am not <laughs> I am not feeling this exam again. I had to go through these books. And the good thing about those books was um, it helped me with emergency management. Like, how do I manage someone who has something like preeclampsia? How do I manage someone who has maybe collapse, hypertensive, emergencies, urgencies, things like that? Like, it would just help you with different spheres of medicine, you know, and surgery, if I do say so myself. So, guys, um, if you do not have the Med Scholar books, please find a way to get them. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> find a way to get those books, okay? The next resources that were helpful for me in preparing for these exams were materials that Udefia Bon, Dr. Udefia Bon, provided. And I hope I'm saying this correctly. He does have videos, but I didn't really use the videos, I'm not going to lie. But you see, like, the books, the PDFs he compiled, the books on Google Drive, and all of those things. I just went on Google and started looking up materials I could use, and someone recommended them. And thankfully, they put a link to download, and I downloaded, and I was able to, you know, go through the PDF. The good thing with it is it gives you, like, hot topics in Nigeria, like, high-yield topics in Nigeria in, like, little, little snippets so if you know much about a topic when you're going through it it's like revision for you and if you don't know anything about the topic when you're going through it it's like i'm learning this thing all over again like i'm learning i'm learning this thing i learned in med school or i'm learning this thing that i didn't know and yeah this is now one point to work on or to build on i hope this makes yeah. sense so there were some other books that really helped me like preparing for these exams books by falashi books by abola and flagship secrets there are actually a lot of books that i had to go through i hope that i have the courage to share what my library looked like during that period and um there were just so many books because you couldn't go through all of them. And the, the thing with reading the Falashes and Abolads, uh, because these books are meant for like practicing senior doctors or things like that, everything is just so detailed and it's large. Okay, so if you are finishing it, kudos. I honestly didn't. I just read like topics inside of it. So I would read Labor in the Guide and read Labor in Abola and something like something along those lines or I read cervical cancer in the guide and read cervical cancer in Abola and from what I've read I should be able to attempt the questions on the Ambos group okay so I hope this makes sense for you at this point the last um, resource I'm going to be speaking about in this particular video is joining the groups on telegram and I think these are one of the things that I didn't really know about on time in the first um, time that I was preparing for these exams because I found out about the groups and I'm just like Jesus <laughs> I was so um, overwhelmed with how much material how much resources how much questions had been attempted on the groups like it was just insane okay so those telegram groups they look like you see MDCN MDCN picture test MDCN MCQs like there are actually so many MDCN groups and I advise that you join the main MDCN page because a lot of um, people will post MCQs there from time to time. You can attempt them, you might end up failing the questions or getting the questions right and then you get explanations for those questions. And the good thing about being on groups like those is because if you're not really tech savvy or very online-y, like if you're not always online, you most likely will get notified on the group faster than you will get notified by going through the MDCN website. I hope this makes sense. So um, other than having questions on like MCQ questions, other than going through picture tests, there were also like some 
you know rapid questions like what is this this what is that that what is antidote for this what is do you understand a patient comes in presenting what are you thinking about so there were also those kind of things and i think one of the greatest things that mdcn like the main mdcn group afforded was the fact that you could connect with people you know you could connect with senior doctors you could connect with people who are taking the exams before you could get your questions answered if you had any questions regarding how to apply for the exams how to you know fill in your documents and things like that you will see people who were readily available to help another good thing was um in case you were looking for study partners and stuff like that you could ask or who is in Lagos around this place and wants to study or who is in Kano wants to study and all of those kind of things. So it was a very, um, it's actually a very good place to get encouragement, get ginger from if that's one of the things you're looking for for this exam. So yeah, I hope this helps you. If any of these resources, you're already using them, kudos to you. If you aren't, please, please jump on them, okay? You'll thank me later. If you are new to this channel, you haven't subscribed up till this point, please click that red subscription button and click the bell beside it. Thank you so very much. It's a good luck charm. It always works. <laughs> Thank you. So um, if you enjoyed this video, if these resources were helpful for you, if this information educated or enlightened you, please support this channel by giving this channel, this video, a thumbs up. Okay. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know you, how you're liking it. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be in there replying and answering all of your questions. All right. Up until next time where I'm going to be sharing more resources and even more resources on things that helped me with the the MDCN, passing the MDCN exam and things along those lines. All right. I'm going to leave you with peace and lots of love. Bye.